Allahu Akbar Walillah Amin Alhamdulillah 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 Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Nahmatullah ta'ala Wa nasafir ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Wahdahu la sharika lah Nashadu anna sayyidna Muhammadan abduhu wa habibuhu wa rasuluh Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa azwajihi wa ashabit Wa ta'bi khulafai rahshidin mahadim min ba'di وزلم مات على التحقيق وسلم منه على لميتي هو لفر سلا على التحقيق أمير المؤمنين حضرة أبو بكر ومر سمان وعلي ولا باقي صبي صبيين بريد وان تعالى لهم أجمعين يا أيها المؤمن الحاضرون إتقوا وتعالى إن الله ما الذين تقوا الذين محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد ولا عليه وصحبه أجمعين All praises are due to Allah Lord of the universes Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There is nothing at all like Him. And He is the hearing, the seeing. Sadaqallah al-Azim. May all peace and blessings be upon Sayyid al-Kainat, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa alayhi the light of the universes, the coolness of our eyes, the intercessor of the day of judgment. May peace and blessings be upon him and upon his noble family and upon his blessed companions, especially upon the Fakhulai Fai Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Omar Farooq, Hazrat Osman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. May peace and blessings be upon the noble Mashaykh of this most noble Naqshbandi way. May peace and blessings be upon the Osman the Padishahs, the Sultans of Justice the hunkars of mercy, the protectors of the ummah. May Allah love those who love them. May Allah curse those who hate them. May Allah return their rights to them soon. Amin. Ya ayuhal mu'minun, O believers, we are standing here as Muslims. Alhamdulillah. We are standing here as those who say without any fear that we, inshallah, are the servants of our Allah. In this Eid day, call out the praises of that greatest and glorious Allah together. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Hu Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Amin. Eid Mubarak. O oh, believers, Baramin is Mubarak also. Mubarak to those who perfumed their days with fasting. Mubarak to those who decorated their nights with taraway and ibadat. Mubarak to those who spent Ramadan hearing the words of their Lord in the recitation of the Quran Kareem. Mubarak to those who fed believers at Sahur and Iftar. May the spirit of Ramadan continue. May our fasting, our taraweeh, our ibadat, our recitation, our gathering, our sohbat continue to be our friends beyond Ramazan. May Allah grant us life to reach another Ramazan. May the good companionship we kept in Ramazan be reunited together under the flag of Rasulullah wasallam in the Ahirat. Amin. O oh, believers, we are living in a day of forgiveness. Holy Prophet said, Allah will make sure that the believers are left with no need that he has not satisfied, no request that he has not answered, and no sin that he has not forgiven. They will then return to their homes, knowing that they have been granted forgiveness. May it be such an Eid for us. We have hope in our Allah with the intercession of the Holy Prophet inshallah. May our Eid be the result of an accepted Ramazan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from being from the group that the Holy Prophet warned us about, whose Ramazan is not accepted. He said, there are people who fast and get nothing from their fast except hunger. There are those who pray and they get nothing from their prayers but a sleepless night. 
May Allah save us from being such a people who have such a Ramadan. If we think and take warning, inshallah, Allah will forgive us. The believers must have hope. And the believers must have fear. These are the two wings of the believers. As Hazrat Umar Farooq radiallahu anh said, if a caller from heaven announced that all people would enter paradise together, but for one man, I would fear that I am him. And if a caller announced that all people would enter hellfire together, but for one man, I would hope that I am him. In this Eid day, we are hoping and praying that we are from the people that Allah has shown mercy to and forgiven. That is our master, the distinguisher between Haq and Batil, Farooq al-Azam. So what is a Faruqi Eid? On the day of Eid, some people came to the house of Farooq al-Azam to meet him and to greet him. When they reached the door, they heard him crying deeply. They asked him why he was crying and he said, Oh people, this is the day of Eid, of celebration, as well as the day of Wa'id, warning. Indeed, this is Eid for the one whose namaz and fasting have been accepted, but it is the day of Wa'id, warning for the one whose namaz and fasting have been rejected and thrown onto his face. And I'm crying because I do not know whether my worship has been accepted or rejected. This is our Farooq Azam. And his words speak the truth. But where is this spirit today? Where is this spirit of humility and understanding your nafs today? Who thinks like this today? Who can even think? to think like this today. Today the Ummah became so lost that they have been fooled by shaitan and their ego into believing that they are entitled to having their namaz and their fasting accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the great ones who came before us, they shook like leaves in the presence of our Lord. What made us to become so bold to demand acceptance in the presence of Allah? What made us to become so proud where is that Ummat? And where is this Ummat? Where are the heroes of Islam, the lions of Haq? And where are we? Yes, there is a reason that Hazrat Hassan al Basri radiallahu anh said, echoing the words of the Holy Prophet. If you had seen the Sahaba, you would have said, These people are crazy. If the Sahaba had seen you, they would say, these people are not Muslims. We are the people that Hazrat Hassan al-Basri was talking about. So let us wipe the sleep and the gaflat from our eyes and wake up on this Eid day. O Ummat whose blood became cheap to spill. O Ummat that became weak in the face of the unbelievers. O Ummat whose lands have been overrun by those who hate our messenger. O Ummat that is drowning in the flames of zulm and oppression. O Ummat whose women are in fear of their honor. O Ummat whose children are being kidnapped and having their Islam stolen from them. O Ummat whose leaders are squandering the wealth of the fuqara and the yatims. O Ummat who turn their face from maula to dunya. O Ummat who abandoned the grandchildren of the Prophet ﷺ. O Ummat who rejected the friends of Allah on the earth. O Ummat who abandoned the Khalifa and the Sultan. O Ummat who left the way of Rasulullah. Stop sleeping and wake up. Wake up in this day and make tawbah. Wake up in this day and remember your brothers and sisters and pray for them. Wake up in this day and wake up the legend that is sleeping within you. Do we understand how heavy the crimes that are happening within this world are? Do we understand how heavy it is in the sight of Allah when the blood of a single innocent believer is spilled? Rasulullah said, the destruction of the whole world means less to Allah than the unjust killing of one believer. 
So what is happening in the sight of Allah then? In Palestine, in Kashmir, in Burma, in China, in Sudan, in Yemen, in Iraq, in Syria, everywhere. When the blood of the believers are being spilled without any hisab, without any accounting. Yes, today is an Eid for us. For us who are in the comfort of safety and security. But know that for them each day is a test. And know that our Eid also is a test. Do we remember? Do we pray? Or do we forget? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is their protector. And the vengeance of Allah is coming soon. We have to ask Allah for forgiveness in this day. That us as an ummah, we're helpless and hopeless to protect them. This is the day of fitr. The day of purity. The day we can return to Allah. May Allah forgive us. He, Jalawala, has promised to forgive all sins. When he says in the Holy Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, say, O my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. Sadaqallah al-Azim. For us to be forgiven, we must return to our Lord. Not to our nafs, not to our desires. Run away from Allah's revenge. The biggest way to run from that is not to be a tyrant. Purify yourself from tyranny. Submit to an Ibadur Rahman, a servant of the Most Merciful, who will free you from tyranny. If you are tyrant, you will be raised with the Zalims on Judgment Day. Save yourself from that. Say, La ilaha illa anta subhana inni kuntu mina zalimin. Say that and wait for the Imam of the Zaman to come, inshallah, and submit to those who are connected to him. Serve Allah, serve the Prophet, serve the friends of Allah, serve the Ummat, be a means for the mercy of Allah to reach to others. That time, inshallah, Allah will save us. That time, inshallah, this day will be an Eid for us. This day will be an Eid for the Prophet, May Allah help the Ummat. May Allah bring justice to the tyrants. May Allah help the Muslim. May Allah let our hand to reach to those who are in suffering and ease their suffering. May Allah make us tools for the honor of Islam. May He be pleased with us. May his Prophet be pleased with us. May the Khalifa return. May the Ottomans return. May their friends be pleased with us. May we enter paradise in their company and be away from those who say, praise to Allah, and be from those who say, praise to Allah, who has removed from us all sorrow. Indeed, our Lord is forgiving and appreciative. Eid Mubarak to the servants of Allah. Amen.